I always loved fire. Just sitting around the campfire and watching the flames dance and all the different colors that they would make. I saw a whole bunch of flow artists performing on the lake and you could hear it. Even though there was music playing, you could hear the music that the flame itself made. I think someone had you know, dared me to do it and I practiced with it all day so that I could get used to the different weight and feel and you feel like you're really confident and like, yeah, I got this. And then you light it on fire and you're like, no, I don't think it actually even took it off my body. And I thought I was gonna do all these cool tricks. I think the biggest draw of fire and why I really like performing with it is the, the wow factor. You know, um, I think because we're raised to like stay away from fire and it's gonna burn you and it's dangerous. And, and it is, you have to respect it. But, um, with the LED, you don't even think about where it is. You just dance with it and wherever it falls, you just flow into something else. With fire, you can't do that. British Columbia is under a state of emergency as wildfires continue to grow. Give yourself when you're gonna do some ignition. Oh my God. The blue sky over Merritt, BC has been obscured by shades of red and black. We've been really limited in our summer shows due to fires. And we were hired to do fire, but we switched to LEDs. The sky was literally black, but the sun was like this red ball in the sky. So we weren't even supposed to be exercising outside and we were performing. The air was so thick and we were wearing masks then. <laughs> that was pre-pandemic. I was pumped because I had made talent for Shambhala, which took me seven years of going and just moving my way up the seniority ladder of all of our performers. We had a pretty good online presence. I feel like we had quite a bit of followers and people who would watch the live feeds. It just doesn't fill the same cup. When you're a performer, you know, you do it because you're having fun and you love what you're doing, but you're also bringing fun and joy to people who are watching. So it's this back and forth connection that you're missing when you can't do it in person. It definitely challenged a lot of, I think just artists in general. We just didn't have the same feedback that makes us go harder and learn more and do new things because there wasn't this drive, you know? Without gigs, without events, without things that we needed to do, that part was missing. So it's great that we had the ability to have live feeds and video. You know, I think the technology that we have is tremendous and we're very fortunate that we have that to connect with each other. And even just being able to go to the park or something by myself and keep my distance and have my own little spot. But the joy that it would bring to other people who were just sitting, having a picnic, was a really nice way to be able to remember that that was another part of why you did it. Like you do it for yourself because you love it, but you do it also for others because it brings them joy or a smile to their face. And we really are essentially, we're creatures of connection and we're missing it. Even though it might be a little bit scary to dip our toes back into it. I really truly think that forcing us to stay home because of what happened with the world is really what we all needed. We needed our eyes to be open to what is important. And that relationship with yourself and the ability to express yourself really is what brings us joy. Late summer it looks like it might actually start having at least a few events. I think a lot of festivals and communities are really handling it well and you know following the guidelines to keep us safe so that we can keep doing it. I'm excited to be able to share hula hooping with other people. You know teaching classes and being able to like light someone's hoop on fire or their fans or their fire toy, how, whatever they're playing with, to be able to light that on fire for the first time and see that expression and to see that passion ignite in that person, like its own little fire inside of them. 
that I'm excited for. I'm excited to see that again. I think about it often when I'm dancing, that it's my best dance partner in all the ways. It's helped me through sadness, it's brought me joy, it's brought me physical health, mental health. It really has helped me in so many different ways. That is why I keep coming back to it.